Hey guys, Snubkex here. Today's video is the first in a new approach to Heroes of the Storm that I'm going to have, which is a very team-based approach to playing the game. In this video, we're going into Unranked Draft to start things off uh, with a pre-made five-person team. And with that team, each of us has a pre-assigned role within the team. So for example, one of the players is our main tank player, and that player is always going to play main tank. We have a main support player. They're always going to main support. A main range damage, always going to play range damage. Uh, then we've got a main solo laner who's typically going to be playing a solo lane hero or a second tank. And then we've got a flex player who's going to kind of fill things out and pick that more unusual hero. Um, the goal with this is that over the course of a live stream, when we do this, we can sit down with a team and play the same roles every single game. And by doing that, you get to learn your team, you get to rely on your team, and then you get to learn that particular role much, much better. So let's say, for example, you are the main tank, you're picking a main tank hero in every game, and you kind of, you know, and you can rely on your teammates to play the other roles well too. This will let you focus in on and start to learn much more about how the main tank role actually works, which ones you're good at, and then learning some of the kind of the synergies, learning some of the tricks, learning some of the shot calls that you can make with your team when, when you get comfortable with that role. Now, some initial ideas I've actually had since recording this live stream episode, which you will see coming up in, in some of the future ones, is that uh, we'll probably do like assign roles just by random, like get five people in <clears throat> and say, okay, are we cool with playing every single role? All right, great. And then assign them by random so that, all right, you might be playing support. You don't normally play support, but for, you know, these three or four or five games, whatever it might be, you are going to be the support player for this team and you're going to learn more about playing support in this team centered environment. It's not going to be focused on winning. It's going to be focused on learning your roles within a particular team and playing those consistently over a number of games, and just getting that deeper understanding. So this one today is actually the very, very first game that we played. Um, I decided to show you guys just the first game, really. I said, you know, that's something that we can do. Uh, just kind of the starting point and then improve the structure, improve the strategy, uh, the coaching style as we move on. But yeah, broadly speaking, this is where I'm at now after that first initial live stream. And this is the first game of that initial live stream. Where I'm at right now is saying, okay, five man team, assign roles at random, and then sort of like coach the team through uh, kind of perfecting those roles and finding deeper, deeper things to those roles when you kind of play them consistently and not to be focused on actually winning the game, but be focused on functioning well as a team, creating good synergies between the heroes that you choose, knowing where to be, like let's say you're the solo laner, knowing when to be in the solo lane when you're playing with the proper team, knowing when to rotate down, and then just being able to learn all those sorts of different things and then bring them into uh, into your own games, in Hero League, in Team League, in whatever it might happen to be. Uh, also then, if we randomize the roles, it's good for you guys as well. In the first live stream, I was playing mostly range damage, um, but then I will be playing different roles every live stream too. So you get to see like the tank stuff from my perspective, the main healer stuff from my perspective, maybe a secondary support from my perspective, soul laner, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And yeah, like I said, this is just the first game. So here you go, first game. Let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. We'll just stick to fairly standard stuff at the start. And then we can go for fancier stuff as we as we move. And like have more flexes and things like that. But I think it could be nice to just like focus in on like, okay, I'm gonna play these roles and this is what I'm gonna focus on. It'll be quite nice. Alright, well I suppose we'll ban out Genji. Okay, Zap Badger's happy to support as well. That's good, we've got a lot of people that are happy to support. Of course, your last pick, why not? Oh, that's actually not too bad, is it? Because, I mean, you are the flex player. <laughs> so it works out okay. Alright, cool. I like it. What's the point of playing as a team if only nobody's talking? Well, everyone else is free to talk if they want. Yeah, I can talk. But hey! I push the talk now. So not oh, as much. Uh, what a blessed relief! <laughs> Cat's got you could talk, but choose not to. Oh, okay, okay. I'm in a good mood because I'm all excited to play World of Warcraft later. I'm really looking forward to that. 
I've, I've, the, the top voted roles for me to play. Okay, they voted those two. Okay, that's fine. Cass gonna be flaming us if a lot of he was talking. Well, that's not good. So I did like a, a thing for people to vote on the roles they would like to see me play, or the here the the roles the um the classes. So at the moment, like monk and warrior are up ahead. So is druid and demon hunter. I won't play a demon hunter initially because that starts at like level one hundred or ninety eight or something like that. So we won't do that initially. But druids, warriors, and monks are all pretty high up. So I actually made a night elf monk and I made a, a drenai warrior. And I think I'll start with the warrior first. Um, but I might also try out the monk. I think the monk has a special starting area. I'm actually not sure about that. Do this monks do monks have a special starting area? Ah, uh, they banned grey main. Well, that's annoying. Uh, what am I banning? Uh, I don't know. I suppose I'll ban a Zeratul, because they could be setting up here for a VP combo. Tashem's living somewhere noisy. He's going to get some water. <laughs> Okay, I'll just ban this out. <clears throat> oh, I see, I see, I see. So the Pandaren have the special starting area. Okay, gotcha. I'm not too worried about the classes being too easy to play. I used to play sub rogue, so I find nearly every class fairly simple now in comparison. I didn't like how they changed it when they changed it. All right, they're running fairly heavy in terms of warriors. Any what do I want to play? Hero you want me on? Uh, no, you just pick whatever you think is going to be best here. We're not going to be too fussy at the start. We've got a very flexible team. It's pretty nice. Hmm. They have pretty heavy dive here. So I'm looking at what would be the best range damage for me to play. Something that can live through dive and deal with it. Vala's probably okay. She's pretty flexible. I'm actually going to play Falstaff. YOLO. We've got Gust if things get hairy. He's pretty good against tanks with uh, Season Marksman build. I think it should work alright. I think we've got enough team fight damage. I think it should be okay. <laughs> Tychus could also be good. Lunara could be good as well. I think this is fine. I want to get. I want to channel my inner MVP Black Sake, who plays uh, False Dead a lot, and makes it work as a main range damage. Normally it wouldn't, but I think this works out just fine. We've got many solo laners. Indeed we do, but that's alright. I think it's fine. This is a map where solo laners are quite valuable, in particular, I would say. Because, like, soloing temples, soloing lanes during temples. We've got plenty of global presence if we want. I think it's quite nice. We can we can orchestrate some pretty fancy ganks. Alright, that's probably what I will focus on doing as well. <clears throat> Alright, so, I mean, looking at early game, is there anything in particular we want to be doing? I mean... Ganking could be pretty good. We've got so much pushing pressure. A lot more than they have. They have Vala, and that's kind of it. They don't have anyone that can really contest the Sonya. Or the Zagara, even. So we can put a lot of pressure on the side lanes, and then I can fly around using my global on Falsta to add pressure. Could be pretty damn nice. And then we can have roams and stuff as well. We also want to focus big time on taking Merc Camps, I would say, in this map. Again, we are very good at taking Merc Camps. They're very not good at taking Merc Camps. Uh, we've got multiple heroes that are great at that, so we can we can really exploit that a fair bit, I would think. So let's try focusing on that too. Uh, Uter Boy saying, I know you're starting a PVE server, but will your late game focus be PVE or PVP? I don't know, probably probably both. I'm really uh, I'm really not settled in on which one it will be. It could be either one, you know. Let me smash. I'm gonna go for probably season marksman false dead build. Uh, I think either one could work pretty well, but I think to focus in on our basic attacks would be pretty nice. So who's solo? We'll probably send, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Zagara to bottom and Sonya to top. That seems pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to focus a lot on role-playing in the, the, the WoW stream. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Actually, I'll, I'll fly in and take this. Point to maybe get myself killed like an idiot. It's possible. Hey, they're not here. Hooray. There's a new rack top. That's okay. Alright, Sag is pushing. Again, we are going to be fairly aggressive, I would think, in this game in terms of pressuring them out. Oh, 
of rude. Oh, he stunned me. That's not good. Okay, well, she missed. And I'll just hearthstone and fly in. Uh, will I fly in top or bottom? I think we're okay. You should push top as hard as you can. Yeah, nice. I'm going to save my flight to fly into one of the side lanes, actually. Maybe kill Vala, because she looks like she's overextending a fair chunk. She's against a Gar, which is pretty tough for her. And see, mid lane is just fine. Like, there's nothing much happening with that. <clears throat> okay, let's look at taking, like, the, the top temple. He thinks. I'm going to run down bottom and just be a jerk. I'm going to fly in, so don't worry about that. Oh, did I not kill her? Oops. Close. Well, it's gone back down bottom. Alright, so Gara's gone in the middle. That seems good. Okay. Oh, Vala's still down here? What? Alright, Vala's still bottom with no HP. Nice. She's got no HP. Alright, she's gonna miss a lot of XP. I can fly into mid. Do I want to? Do I need to? No, not yet. This is alright. What is she doing? She's still down here. What is this? Okay, I'm just getting, like, area for free, basically. Oh, if I could hit. If they could hit, they could probably kill me. Luckily, they missed. Ah, uh, alright. <clears throat> alright, cool. Nobody talking, I know. <laughs> we could improve the talking without Niku having pushed to talk. We should also work on, yeah, uh, uh, pushing in bottom would be good. Taking Pretty out. sure no one else has a mic, though. Yeah, I guess not most of the people don't have mics. Unfortunately for them. So we're going to push in this uh, siege camp down bottom. Should be pretty effective, actually. And get a boomerang. Should be nice. Oh, yeah, Lee Ming's not going to be able to do too much. You want to try to destroy the, uh, the well, for sure. All right, nice. Easy. She's almost dead. Nice. Hello, Uther. How nice to meet you. Nice steal. What are these guys even doing right now? They don't seem to be up to too much. They were too top, Paula and the uh, underbrand. Ah. Uh, so they weren't very able to do anything. Yeah. They've not been up to much yet this game. If I'd actually hit the Vala there, she would have died. Should have been more confident. Okay. Seems needlessly aggressive from them. Right. A new break is top, we can fight 5v4. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, I'll tap a well, and then we can push in. We could even... It might be a bit early to take a boss, would it? <laughs> I, I feel like we could probably get away with it, but it's probably a bit of a risk, especially with the variant. Alright, so I need to start the temple. And we'll push in. He could be coming. I'm gonna push middle while you're doing that, and I can fly in if it needs to be. Let's get damage on mid for freebies. Oh, Uther's here. This is nice. We're not 10 yet. We can't engage. We got 10 now. Hi. 
I'm gonna fly in behind them. Hmm. By behind, I mean in front. Basically. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go split push top. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna split up a little bit as well. Structural damage. Nice. Free structural damage. It's like free temple shots. Amazing. Yeah, you should be I'm fine. Still top, by the way. Yeah, I see that. Anubrak is, is dying. Uh... Gust their way. Diablo top. Cool. They're not doing very much. They're just. They're, they're losing the game slowly here. There's not too much to do, honestly. Just play it kind of casual. We could probably again force the boss or something here if we wanted. We do a boss before they get 10. <laughs> that Badger says no. <laughs> Some badger wants none of it. <laughs> okay, they could be taking a siege cap. If not, we should just steal it. Okay, let's just steal it. Do the boss. Yeah, That's take siege camp, then do boss. Alright, nice. Rip Sagara, he'll be missed. I'm gonna save mana for Gust and not waste it on unnecessary things. Actually, I'll use a W. I can still avoid that. Oops. <clears throat> that APM. It's good. Such control, such mechanics. Best player. Four man gank top is really OP, especially when they give a free boss. <laughs> yeah, worth, right? They got one kill. For a boss and several lanes of XP, so it must be worth. Okay. Yeah, you can tank towers more aggressively as Fairy, and you can absorb some shots with Parry and stuff. Just start us off. Get a few extra seconds of tower deeps out, which is actually pretty valuable. Especially on this map. We don't want to fight here. There we go. That might save you guys. Nope. What up? Right, sorry, I should say. Alright. <clears throat> oh, everybody to dying. I don't have guests, so. But yeah, like, Kuzniku... Yeah, we overstayed. Um, Kuzniku is split-pushing a cigar. Like, we're just gonna win this game through just pushing out all the lanes. We don't really wanna... We don't need to do any big fights or anything. They've got pretty good team fight with Cocoon, Divine Storm, just Uther in general, and an Apocalypse. So we don't really need to or want to do that if we don't have to. Okay, I'll join you doing this. Alright, I'm gonna push out bot lane. Let's see if we can't, uh... Hmm, their siege camp isn't up for a while, actually, unfortunately. Yeah, we should be able to finish off a keep kind of manually here. They're very split up as well. So it should be easy. Top. Actually, three top. Yeah. Most of them are top. They're out of position, so nice. Yeah, good commit to keep. I like it. Stop their All back. Right, keep for free. Nice. Ooh, for is top. Ooh, good. Oh. <laughs> New Rex stunned me outside of Leeming's range. Feels good. Alright, be careful team. Coming. Yeah, there's not much to actually push in down here. We're kind of just stalling out until there's like something significant to do 
i.e. boss, or uh, I'll be very careful to stay on that siege camp. We don't have pre position to get away with that too much. Just kind of wait. We can kind of chill. Nice siege camp steal there. We want something significant like temples or um, something to, to do. Actually, you know what? Can... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fly in behind. I'm going to gust them back towards us. There we go. Shot. There, there. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's push in a keep. We've got huge level advantage, so. Okay. Ooh, apocalypse. Pretty careful now. Okay. I've got Gus and eight. Gus and eight. Oh shit! Couldn't quite get in. Oh, I hit Uther. Go away. Safety ghost. Safety ghost. <laughs> He could have actually hit me, huh? What's the boss up? 23 seconds? Let's just go take a boss and win the game. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you want to do this on the way? Okay. Sure, why not? We're gonna have to rush the boss pretty quick. We want everyone here, like, stuff. So we need you here as well. Don't go top, come bot. I don't have Gust for eight seconds. And this is why we need Varian with us, oh god. This gets scary, team. Ah, oh, we're okay. Woo! Not even close. Th is that leap that got interrupted in midair? No, it wasn't, okay. Yeah, and we just can go on the core. Hello, Li Ming. Oh, I got cocooned. Alright. Nice kill on the Ming Li, looks like. Charge! Charge! Gotta fly in behind. It's gonna be amazing. Watch this. I think I missed them mostly. Oh, Valor will still die. Uh, not quite. Worst mechanics. Dodging easily dodgeable skill shots with a barrel roll. Letting a new Brack live with no HP. Amazing. Hey, won the game. Rark. And I guess. Oh well. Hmm. <laughs> that was. Uh, why is that door open? What the fuck? Uh, that's a, a pretty good game. I mean, in the sense. Well, I mean, there wasn't too much going on there. Nice. Stop everything. Cool. It was just they were a very, very weak team. Let's try let's try this again. Let's try it again. Um and we'll see if we get a more challenging game. <laughs> that was just like a slow, steady, consistent win with not much going on. Just global pressure and they didn't have any wave clear. Huh. Loot box, oh yeah. Sun type chest. Priorities. Oh, all comments. Nearly all duplicates. Behold the Sun King. Ooh. 